Look how cute that is. Really nice. I enjoyed that one. Okay, let's go back over some of those colors to thicken them up and make them look really pretty. So let's try the yellow. Just pick up some yellow, a little bit of white. Nice messy palette here. Don't you like having a messy palette though? Shows that you're really working hard, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's put some more yellow. Let's do another coat of yellow. Brighten it up. Add more white if you want. There we go. I don't know how many layers of paint you'll need, but uh, you decide that. You know, try not to, try to make sure that you can't see the background coming through. So you may need three or four coats, okay? And it's fun anyway, so, you know, it's not like a, a chore. It's fun, and then you can make some changes along the way, right? You can also make a few changes along the way if you want to. So, I'm going to add, let's see, let's see. I'm going to try and clean this area up here. Need more white. Any more? If you go over your orange that you got there, don't worry. You can always put it back. At least you know where it is, right? Oh, so now we will, with the yellow and white, Fill in the yellow and white yellows. There we go. Might need a little shadow on that edge there just so we can, you know, you have uh, some different values and some shadows to bring out the shapes. Good. Yeah, so this time we're going to work on both of them and just, just move around and have some fun. Alright, look at that. Look at that. It's so cute, isn't it? Add a little bit of a shadow color here by adding a little bit of a bluish, greenish, a little bit of blue to my yellow just to darken it up a little bit on that corner. Alright, so okay, make sure your brush is nice and clean when you're working with your yellow and white. Let's get this in here. Yep, lots of layers, lots and lots of layers. The more layers, the, the better it look. It looks so good. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to that yellow coming down there. So I'm just going to mix some colors. And my second and third and fourth layers might be a little tiny bit different, not much. But I would suggest that you just go over the colors. And you decide to make some changes, you can do that after. Just do your main colors first that you got done. Do your several layers. And then you can brighten it up or darken it up or you can do whatever you want really because once it's done you can go back over the colors with the same colors and you can always tint them with a few other colors just to uh, change up the mood or but you're not doing anything drastic you see. See how, see how more brilliant and brighter it's coming out the more layers you do? Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, let's see. Okay, now we will continue with our bright colors. Alright. You want to add, if you go over some of your black lines, you can put them back in after with your marker. All right. So just try to keep as much as you can as you're working, okay? Keep as much as you can. And we can add some more yellow here. A bit of white in there is good. Been around. You can see by layering your paint how much prettier it gets. Right? Okay. 
so just keep adding those layers and layers and layers now I could time-lapse it but I don't want to do that right now I do have a few time-lapse videos of my real-time videos just see if you want to check them out first before you go in and watch the uh, that will give you an idea if you like the painting and that way if you want to do it you can look at my real time so some of my time-lapse ones are not the on sorry not the only ones there that's just to show you uh, give you an idea almost like a preview I have some previews also so I may have previews I may have a full painting in one and it might be two hours long in one video or I might have a playlist uh, of that one even that one um, painting so I'm trying to give you options you can, like I said, give you options so you can decide. Rather than waste your time and you go in and start a painting. Oh, I can't do that or I don't like that or it's not what I want to do and I now I get all this wasted paint and time. So go in and look at some of the time-lapsed ones first or previews of my paintings. And then decide which one you'd like to, to try. I try to make them as easy as I can for you because I know it's a struggle, especially when you're first starting out. You know, and I try my best to make as easy as I can, give you as much information as I can. Some videos I made, videos I might just be doing a painting, and uh, I'll make it so simple that I probably just um, just paint along. You paint along with me, and uh, it's just not as much information as I would in some of my more elaborate paintings that I'll explain everything about it you know explain everything about composition and um, right now we're doing some layering I explain about paint uh, also about blending techniques I have videos on blending techniques blending skies I have a lot of stuff okay so I'm still layering some of my paint all right good and as you can see the more layers the prettier it is right so let one layer dry first all right so um, if I didn't mention that earlier let one one layer dry first before you do your second layer that way you won't just blend in with it it'll, it'll cover up what's underneath and it'll give a nice thick opaque look all right it's coming along so you decide which way you want to put the paint down all right good good to good so a flat chisel edge brush or a filbert brush really helps. See how I got that line in nice and, and nice. Where else do you think we need to make some layers? Let's see, maybe here. There we go. Good. You can even come down around here if you want. Do whatever you want. It's your painting. Whatever colors you want in there. Like I said, just be mindful of your complementary colors, that's all. So let's add a little more color to the nose over here. A little bit of, let's brighten up a little bit of the nose there. Good. A little shadow down there. Give it more shape. Good. So you can start you putting in some of the orange and the oranges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up that blue. I'm going to do the blues. All right, I'm going to do the blues. So I'm going to get some ultramarine blue. You can use Colbeck blue. Or you can use any blue you want. Okay. So I'm just going to use a nice light blue. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to 
add that my second layer on my blue. I kind of found it a bit dull, so I'm brightening it up a little bit, okay? I want my colors on my mask to be nice and bright. Bright as can be. See the chiseled edge brush helps get those lines on the edges here, see? Good. Nice and bright. Just adding a little bit of white on the edge there just to give it a... Yeah, there we go. You can even add a bit more if you want. And let's see, nice bright blue in here. All these layers really bring it out nicely. There we go. And some more here, all, where all the blues were. Don't have to worry about blending, which is wonderful. This blending is a little bit tedious at times. But it looks really nice. <clears throat> okay, so let's keep it going. Keep reloading whenever you need to reload. Use the chisel edge of your brush to get these skinnier lines. Good. Go over your blue, your yellow a little bit if you want. Bring some colors into other colors if you like. Good. That looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad. So let's get some orange and brighten up our oranges. And I think then we're almost done with that one. Just want to fix up this lip a little bit here. That's the beauty of this. You can just keep going back over it without making any mistakes or without ruining it or anything. So we've got some orange. So we get some yellow and some red. I'm not going to totally mix it together. I'm just going to sort of tap it into each other. Keep that orangey color. And I'm going to go back over that one. That cool? And that one. Good. And maybe a little bit on the cheek here. Good. Maybe a little bit on the nose. A little bit there. Maybe a little bit here. I forgot to do the blue in there, so I'll do that after. Okay, so see around the nose, I forgot to do that. C. And that there is kind of a dark color anyway, so we'll leave that mostly red. I like the red color in that cheek. Yeah. Isn't that cute? That's cuter. And let's see, let's see. Some orange. Um around here and on this see just touch and pull see how pretty oranges and the yellows are nice aren't they that looks good I think it does I don't know about you but I like it You have to like your paintings. If you don't like it, don't continue with it, okay? Don't continue with it until you get it the way you want it. If you if you stand back and you say, oh, I don't like that, don't just keep trying to fix it or do it the way you want it. If you can't get it the way you want it and you keep saying, I don't like that, then, you know, Try to change it or just go over it all together. But if you stand back and say, you know something, I like that. Then you know you're doing a painting that you're going to love. And then you say, well, how do I know when I'm done? Well, I i mean, I could paint, I could go over this, do seven more layers. But, you know, I like it and it's coming along. So I figure I'm, I'm feel that I'm almost finished now. So, uh. I'm going to put some of that light blue 
bin here where I forgot. We will uh, go over those dark lines again just to straighten them up, okay? So that you can see that they're, because we're painting, we end up going over them. And uh, now you might be doing a bit of me. I'm standing up doing a video, so it's a little bit harder for me to get, to get the angles and stuff. But, you know, I'll get them. I'm sure I will. Okay. All right, so I think that one is pretty well done for the colors, and we can go back over them um, with the marker or black paint. All right. I'm just adding whatever, whatever I want. Whatever I want, where I want. All right. adding a little bit up here just to round it off a little bit all right I think I'm gonna leave that one for now and then I'm gonna finish the other one so I'm going to do more layers on the face here with some yellow and white yellow and white all right yellow and white just give it that layer Give it that extra layer for poor intensity. We're making our painting intense. You ever hear of intensity and in color? Well, this is one of them. So we're making it more intense by adding more layers. So a painting like this can really use intense colors. And to, to do that, to get them really bright and intense, um, you just layer, layer, layer. All right, layer, layer, layer. And add some white to your paint to brighten it up. And also, you got contrast. So you have intensity in this painting, and you have contrast with the darks. It brings out the lights, and that gives contrast. So look for your darks and your lights to get contrast in your paintings. And look at the intensity of the colors that you want. And painting is uh, can be complicated, but you don't have to make it complicated. You can you can simplify it by I don't know. It's like a coloring book, isn't it? Almost in some cases. Um, but if you have a, if you do a photograph and you put it on one of your programs and you want to intensify the colors, you want to uh, make get more contrast, you want br more brightness, more darkness. All those are on your on your program. So you're doing the same thing. You're the program. You're going to be uh, doing all those intensities and all those changes by painting. So think about that. Think about that you have a program, you're the program and you're going to pick, okay, I need more contrast, I need more light, I need more dark, I need, you know, I need to crop it. <laughs> so, you know, um, all the things that are there on your program, that's what you need to do in your paintings also. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So now I'm going to Let's see, let's see, get some nice, let's get the lines better here. Good, I'm going to put a bit of white here just so I can get that line better. Sticking with my filbert because it's easy, I'm finding it easy to work with. You could use a flat. Okay. Now, so, good, I 
just add a little bit of orange there for now. Because I'm going to wait for that to dry in order to our, add our colors on top. So that if I'm trying to get a nice bright orange, a nice opaque orange, then i got to wait for the colors to dry to add my next layer. Or it will just blend in with the yellows and, and it, won't, it won't get nice and opaque. I'm just going to add more red to this one here. Good. I like those red cheeks, do you? I kind of like to brighten that one up a little bit too. I kind of like the bright, bright red. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. The brighter the colors, the better in my opinion on this one. So cute. Coming along. Okay. I'm going to go over the blues there now. Now, blue and white. Blue and white. Like I said, you can use cold bat blue. Whatever blue you want to use. Okay, you don't have to use the exact colors I'm using. Let's get that nice and bright. I want to have lots of intensity in this painting. Lots of contrast. Now, this is so much fun. I might do a couple more like this. You know what? Like flowers, uh, still life probably would go really nice. Just doing it this way, just having like a, a whimsical painting. I'm going to call this whimsical paint, the whimsical painting. How's that? I think it's cute. It's a little more than an abstract because it's, a, it's uh, abstract so you barely make out what, what uh, you're painting. But this one you can tell what it is. So I think I'm going to call this the whimsic whimsical. Now all i got to do is learn how to spell it. Oh, i got Google for that, sure. So I'm going to put some more yellow on here. I may have to do a couple of coats there because I didn't put it in there. There we go. Just put the yellow on your first coat. Like I say, every time you do a coat, a layer, let one dry and then do the other. Even when you're putting your oranges on, let the paint dry and then put that on top. Add some more yellow here. So you go back over and see the parts that you missed. And just fix up the parts that you want to fix up. There we go. So I'll need some layers on that one. Good. All right, a little bit here. So wherever you think you need to adjust things, just go ahead. So I'm just going to check some parts that I think need adjusting. And I think I'm going to adjust this up here and add a bit of lighter blue. Add a bit of white to your blue. And I'm going to come around down here. And I'm going to skip over this part here to make it give it kind of a, a shape. So it gives it a round look. A little more white up here will brighten it up. A little bit down here. And here. Good. I might do a little bit over here. 
So the lighter blues give it more shape. So put on as many layers as you think you need. Put some little highlights on the edges if you like. Shape it up even more. a little bit more blue in here. Maybe a little bit down here. Just fill in the spots that you think you need. When you go from blue to yellow, make sure you clean your brush really good because you'll end up getting green. You don't want that. So I'm pick up some more yellow. Put that in here. These layers are dry there now, so I'm going to go back over them. My yellow and white. Good. So you can pick at it until you get what you're looking for. Looks like I need some more in here. We're getting there. So, we'll let those layers dry and then we will start um, putting some of the darks back to uh, do the shapes a little better because as you're painting over them you can see that some of the shapes have changed a little bit so we want to change, we want to do things to make these look nicer and um, I think maybe around this eye here goes down and we get that maybe a bit of yellow down here let's go down here with a little bit of yellow good and that and then we'll go shape that up a little bit here and Whatever you think you need it. Thinking, I'll put some blue in there. Probably in here I'll put some blue. There we go. I want to get everything that we need. bring this one down to meet this one here. I give a little more shape to the face. A few little highlights here and there. bits of white here and there is kind of nice. Just kind of picking spots where I might like to have a little bit of highlight just for, I don't know, just in 
Okay, so it looks like there's maybe some light shining on it or something. You don't have to do that, but uh, you can if you want to. There we go. So here's an angular brush, and you can put the top part there, could be the toe. So, put some white and yellow on the toe. And then you can put the toe up against that yellow line. You won't have to worry about the bottom part because the bottom part has no paint on it. So, it would only do the top. Okay, so I just got too much water. Things I tell you not to do, I end up doing it myself. All right, so I'll just get that on there. I'll just get my white back in there again. Just on the toe. Then you won't have to worry too much. Nice and bright. Good. You can also do it with a liner brush. There we go. So try to make sure the bottom part of your brush has no paint on it, just the toe. And that way you won't get in trouble like I just did. Okay. So, just the toe, and there we go. All right. And now let's do this one here. Now you can also do, I'm going to use the whole brush this time at the chisel edge, okay? Just trying to show you different ways you can do it. So just the whole bottom of the brush, chiseled edge, and then you can also just go at the, the very top of that to brighten it up. Good. So some of that's pretty bright as it is. Just use a chiseled edge on the very edge. You see how bright that gets it? The others are pretty good. Hmm, good. Now, I lost my, uh, I lost that in here. So I'm just going to fix that. I just want to show you how, you know, if I make a mistake, I want to show you how to fix it because you might say, well, I did a boo-boo and I need to fix it. So just go back over with, with your the edge of your chisel edge brush and just paint in that underneath your highlight. Good. Makes it nice and bright too. So that's pretty good. Just gonna have a little bit of highlight to this cheek here. Just a little bit of yellow just to give it a little bit of highlight. We need still need to have two or three values. Now as long as everything is dry and you still have chalk marks on your canvas, get a clean, very clean, no paint at all, uh, damp brush, and just wipe away. As long as your paint, all this is dry, so you won't disturb it, just clean off your chalk marks. Just get rid of those, see? So wherever there's chalk marks, just wipe them off with a clean, damp brush. All right, that's simple. So don't worry about the chalk on your canvas because that's no problem. But make sure your paint is dry before you do this so you won't spread your paint around, okay? Alright, good. Now if you're happy with it and you've got all your layers of paint done, take your marker, your acrylic painting marker, or a small brush and put back in the lines that you painted over or you want to put extra lines in. So we'll just go in here and outline this. Outline this section a bit. So we can go down and maybe come out a little bit here. All right. Good. And then we have this part here. 
We'll clean that up a little bit. And we'll come around. All right, good. Maybe we get a couple of streaks of black here. And that eyebrow comes up here. And a little bit here. And then we have to clean up this edge here. So just cleaning up the edges. So it won't look messy. Good. There's a little dark one here. Around the nose, so clean up that edge here. Good. With a little nostril there. Put that back in. See? And then we will go underneath the nose. Maybe some around the nose. So we're just outlining it so that it looks neat and tidy. Good. And the eyebrow. Good. And so let's see what else we need to do. Maybe a little bit down around here. outline a little bit here and let's see let's see maybe there's a bit around the cheek here just a few little lines to give it some oomph all right Maybe a little bit down here. There we go. And over here we will do a line here. Straighten that up. Maybe the line is coming out here. Straighten up this line here. Makes it nice and neat. Because when we painted it and those lines were there, we probably went over them a little bit and made it a little messy. So we we'll straighten up now. See? There we go. Maybe just a little one up here. And here. Good. Straighten up that line down here. And this one doesn't have a line, but you can put one in if you want to. You can change whatever you want. And let's see, let's see. Maybe we can outline this, this. Nice. And this here for sure. Smile. Make a nice big smile. There we go. Make this nice and big. Nice big smile. That's a big smile, isn't it? <clears throat> we'll fix this smile down here too. We'll fix the eye here. There we go. See how easy it is to fix it up with the marker? If you're, if you're doing that with a brush, if you do that with a brush, it will take you a very long time to do this. So that's why I like this. That's why I like these markers. Straighten up the smile. There we go. Just give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate when you do those things for me. 
and um, a thumbs up and uh, you can also give me some likes they don't cost anything look at me look at me go and um, you can subscribe if you you know want to get notified you can click the bell ring the bell ring the bell I'll hear you and uh, I would say that's it for now so you guys Go ahead and do that painting, and I love to see it. Email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com if you if you get yours done, and um, I'd love to see it. Yeah, because you I like to see your different colors or shapes. But as long as you get those shapes, you should get a nice painting out of it. How cute that is! Really nice. I enjoy doing that one. It was fun. I hope you like it. I hope you like this painting. Good. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So you have a happy painting day and bye.